So I'm sitting here with the parts and prototypes for our next kit, which is the OLA-5. Uh, here's the most recent prototype. This is a full-featured optical compressor. It's going to be a 500 series kit, as you can see. Uh, no front panel here yet, but this is all the circuitry. Um, we're working with Joel Cameron, again, uh, of Rascal Audio. He helped us design the EQ P5, the EQ, um, passive EQ, last year. And we're really close to wrapping this thing up. Um, we're going to have pricing and a pre-order coming really soon. Uh, but I just wanted to share a really exciting part of it uh, for me right now, which is the OptoCell itself. And it's, well, as you can imagine, it, it's like the core of the compressor. It's something we've labored over a lot. And uh, we've come up with something really cool and unique that I think you're going to like. Um, so the OptoCell, Opto is short for optical. And this is the part of the compressor that actually does the gain reduction. Um, the way it works is that the, the input signal comes in and the strength, based on the strength of the signal, an LED lights up to a certain intensity. And then a light dependent resistor like this um, changes its resistance based on the intensity of that LED. So it's really simple. It's almost like this resistor is a little volume knob and the LED is just turning it up or down based on how much level is coming in. And, and that level coming in is set by your, your threshold control and, and it has a built-in ratio and stuff. So that's the basic premise of what the Opto does. But what makes Optos really unique and musical and the reason we still use them after all these years is that they have their own built-in attack and release times and their attack tends to be slower than other types of compression so it's very transparent can be very musical and the release is really interesting because it's non-linear so if you give it if you're just compressing a little bit you'll have this very slow very forgiving release it's almost just like a leveling it's in fact why we call uh, this this type of compressor a leveling amplifier often uh, the LA-2A is the most famous one, but the LA-3A and the LA-4, which is what we've based our design off of, that LA stands for leveling, leveling amplifier. Um, but then, so if you hit the compressor a little bit harder, you'll get this grabby, quicker attack, which then, um, it, the, I'm sorry, release, the release is much faster, and then as it's approaching full release, it slows down again. So it's this very unique nonlinear character that's very difficult to emulate with plugins or with other types of hardware. And it's very musical to our ears. It's very forgiving. It makes for a very dynamic unit that um, when you play with it in different ways, you get different results out of it. And that's part of why we love analog gear is it, it responds to us kind of like an instrument. Anyway, so, so we needed to make our opto cell as perfect as it could be. Um, Joel started the search um, with some of these integrated optos. They're called Vactrals. It's got the LED and the LDR right in there. It comes together. It's just a couple bucks. It would be awesome if we could have used one of these, but he just couldn't find one with the exact release character we needed to emulate the LA-4. So unfortunately, we were back to using a separate LED and LDR. Um, which is which is great. It sounds awesome. It is in fact the original LDR, same model that LA that uh, they used in the LA4. But the problem with it is, how do we mount these two things in something that's very sturdy, easy for a DIYer put, to put together, and is absolutely dark? So there's no other light contamination in there to affect the compression. And what we came up with, I think, is is quite elegant. Uh, it's very simple, but it's something I haven't seen anybody doing in a DIY kit before. Um, and I'll show it to you here. Um, so we've got the LED built into the board here. And as you can see, we have this little sub board that um, this is going to block any light from coming in underneath. I found this, um, this kind of plastic ABS tubing. It's the perfect diameter. So this pops right onto this LED board and it just happens to fit 
the LDR perfectly. So now we've got a really tight seal in here. This all just snaps in in a really satisfying way and it's perfectly dark. And then we designed this um, tiny little daughter board which slips right over the LED leads. I'm sorry, the LDR leads. Too many initials. And then when you're assembling the kit, you would just solder this on here and you would screw it in. So then this little assembly is, uh, I've got it rotated 90 degrees. Um, this little assembly is perfectly, um, perfectly secure. It's perfectly dark in there. And if somebody wanted to, they could use this assembly in a different DIY project, a different optical compressor, whatever you wanted to do with it. Um, so we're really excited to have this because now we can have the exact same side chain or compression character as the LA-4. You can put it together as a DIY kit with, you know, there's nothing, no gotchas, there's nothing overly complicated about it. And it is perfectly dark, which is what we needed. So I just wanted to show you that, that little part. I'm really excited about it. I'm also really excited to just finally get this kit out there and into your studios. So stay tuned in and thanks for watching.